Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well and today's reading will be looking at however you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Um, let's start with signs. We have 7th house here, which is Libra, Neptune, Pisces energy, Temperance, Sagittarius, the Devil, Capricorn, um, Cancer, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. Yeah, those are the strong signs. But let's start with their self-image or how do they perceive themselves. We have Temperance, Ace of Cups, Devil, 7th house, Neptune. You know, for the most part, I'm getting a healthy self-image, someone who's quite balanced within themselves. You know, this is not someone who loses their cool too often. Um, I'm seeing one thing with this person, though, right away, is they may, for one, I think where the issue lies is in their relationships. They may attract people that needs some sort of saving or healing. So yeah, that's coming through with temperance. So perhaps attracting codependent relationships. And for others of them, they may have a hard time, say they're in a relationship, they may have a hard time getting out of it. If it's, a, say, a toxic connection, they don't like hurting other people yeah, that's like, a, it's, it's coming through strongly. So there's some issue in regards to their relationships. But, you know, nice individual just need to be more careful, which I see in their energy um, towards the end of the spread here that, you know, they're headed in that direction. For how other people perceive your person, we have Nine of Pentacles, the Moon Justice, so this is a very strong, independent person, someone who's reliable, someone of integrity, um, perhaps not the most vulnerable person, uh, more logical than they are emotional. That's how they're perceived, but who they are as a person, actually quite emotional, I think. But I'm getting like not a lot of people perhaps know them closely. But yeah, others see them as having their you know, stuff together perhaps financially stable with that nine of pentacles. For how they express their emotions or how they deal and experience their emotions, we have queen of cups, nine of cups. So I think emotionally healthy, queen of cups is, you know, in her element and she's in that heart space. So I think they're comfortable with emotions um, but sometimes, yeah, I'm not sure they're like that in their everyday life because of how others perceive them. Um, but once you get to know them and you get past their exterior here, they're quite emotional, sensitive, very loving individual. They're all heart is what I'm getting. Very loving because we have two cup cards in their, in the way they express their emotions. But, you know, this is someone who... Again, I'm getting independent energy with that Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So perhaps single right now or will be single when you meet. So that's good. No third parties or anything like that coming through. I want to clarify the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so it's confirming what I was saying, you know, because Nine of Cups can sometimes be drinking too much, partying too much. So I just wanted to confirm that's not what's happening here. I wasn't getting that strongly, but it's, it crossed my mind. So I had to, you know, clarify. But yeah, just someone who has a hard time letting their guard down. Um, but once they do, they're very emotional and very open and vulnerable when they're in a relationship with you. I think they will be. Um, for their intellect, their mind space, we have three of cups, ten of pentacles. I don't see any major issues here. This is a very friendly communicator, um, likely someone who does have a lot of friends. Um, they're quite stable financially, and they have a good business sense. So I'm getting, yeah, a lot of their success may be through other people. But obviously, also their own merit, right? Hardworking person, but 
yeah, it's more so network networking and who they know. They're ch- they're charming with that justice energy. Yeah, very easygoing energy, and a great sense of humor is coming through as well. For their spirituality, we have King of Swords and Knight of Wands. I wouldn't say this is the most spiritual person. Maybe intuitive, but this is someone, you know, they're all about facts and a very logical person. I'm not getting spiritual. They can be, but we'll see. We'll get more characteristics about them. Right now, I'm leaning towards more of, I don't think so. For your first impression of them, we have six of wands, three of swords. You, you, you may think this is a bit of a heartbreaker. You know, someone who gets a lot of attention. People put them on the pedestal. They're quite popular. They probably have many people after them. That's sort of your impression that, you know, you, you, you'd be hesitant um, because you won't trust them r- right away. For your life circumstances, when you meet, we have Seven of Wands, the Lovers, Page of Cups. I think you both are sort of in a position in your life where you're looking for love. Um, Yeah, but emotionally receptive, you're open, and I think you're looking for a relationship. Some of you may be a bit guarded, though, when you meet, and I'm seeing that's mutual energy um, because of past hurts. So, yeah, just a bit careful this time around. Their first impression of you, we have Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords. They'll see you... I'm getting clever. Quite blunt with your words. But I'm getting clever. Someone who's a bit no-nonsense. Very forthright energy. But they may also not trust you. I'm getting that distrust from both sides, really. But let's see. Let's clarify this further. Some of you may be... Yeah, you're holding back. Um, maybe you have a lot of um, projects on hand, but you're busy um, working hard. They'll find you very attractive. They're viewing you as the Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, but also someone who has a lot going on. Perhaps there'll be a very brief meeting with that Knight of Swords. That can be a bit of a fleeting. You know, they see you and then you're gone. Maybe quite... They'll find you intriguing. They'll want to know more about you. Not sure you'll give them the time of the day when you meet. Or it'll be very quick communication and then you're gone. For their life circumstances, when you meet, we have Queen of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of Cups. This person's looking. I'm getting that. But they're also not wearing their emotions on their sleeve or their heart on their sleeve. Perhaps hurt, right? Because they have that issue with the codependency here. So they're careful, cautious, but they are searching, they're manifesting, they're hopeful, you know, to find you. Quite optimistic and they're planning for the future. So you could be at a distance for some of you, but that's very few of you. Let's look at your oracle cards. We have divine timing. We can never manipulate time. You can only work with it. Start working hand in hand with your divine timing. So yeah, you both are looking. It's You are mirroring one another. Look at this. Seven of Wands, their energy. No, your energy. Queen of Swords, their energy. Lovers, Page of Cups, your energy. Three of Wands, Two of Cups, their energy. Very similar energy um, in regards to your life circumstances when you meet. But yes, divine timing is at play. So if you haven't met them, that is why. We have Caged Love. A love interest might be st- stifling your potential and cramping your lifestyle there's no time for that this talks about someone being possessive controlling i'm not sure who's who we'll get more into their personality and then i can clarify who's who but we also have sexual chemistry you'll feel a powerful sexual chemistry with someone that will turn into something lasting on a deeper level 
So yeah, get great chemistry in the bedroom. That is being highlighted here. Strong physical attraction. We have a romance. This is interesting. We actually have lovers twice in your spread. We have lovers and romance. Very romantic uh, connection. Um, quite affectionate with one another. Um, perhaps candlelight dinners and just went spending a lot of quality time together mm -hmm. picnics vacations that's highlighted here very cute and we have giving so yeah very generous with one another your person will be perhaps gift giving is a love language or physical touch but yeah he's giving her a present and you just have to be open and receptive to this person's energy they they look beautiful i think they'll be a strong um, physical and emotional connection here we have reminders dreams some of you may be meeting this person by your dreams before you meet in person you may be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities feathers are yeah we have feathers here twice so you may be seeing a lot of feathers repeating numbers but you're getting it's, your guides are um, sending you signs some of you are manifesting this person right now you're visualizing them they're visualizing you i saw that in their energy and we have all you see is love yes seeing another in with rose-colored glasses um particularly your person with all that neptune and seventh house they tend to put their partners on a pedestal um, sometimes, you know, it can work out. Other times it can get them into a bit of trouble if they're not seeing the other person clearly. Um, let's get more about them, your spouse or long-term partner with just the astrological cards. We'll see what we can come up with there. <laughs> we have Capricorn coming through. Ooh, okay. Maybe we're meeting through work, Capricorn. Oh. Oh. It's very similar to your energy, Capricorn. Aquarius. Group setting, perhaps. Meeting through work in a group setting. Through school. We have a lot of uh, repeating signs. We have Virgo here twice. Oh yes, that's beautiful. I'll I'll get to um, why is Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, okay. What is happening here? Let's start. Let's start with the Venus 12th house. This will be a bit of a secret affair, perhaps a work affair. Um, yeah, not a lot of people will know about this um, connection. Did I have that in your no we didn't but yeah i'm getting a secret perhaps one of you is secretly admiring the other um but there's an element of things being hidden i'm getting you'll be a very private couple at least your person the one you're attracting um yeah they're quite yeah if there's anything any troubles brewing be between the both of you, this is someone who will like to solve it amongst the both of you. So they won't like other people meddling in your um, relationship here. 
you can meet through a group of friends we do have venus 11th house that does signify meeting through friends but i'm also getting sort of a group setting of some sorts so whether that's work school um just large group of people in general um we have capricorn clarified by virgo so we have virgo here twice capricorn here twice pisces here twice we have a little bit of a oh we actually have virgo three times because we also have mercury so strong possibility this they have strong earth placements or virgo in their chart but yeah as for their personality this is someone who's quite methodical uh, quite practical very business focused their work or school or whatever they do is very important to them they're quite goal oriented this is someone who's quite traditional they'll want a family with you and um yeah they'll want sort of that traditional roles um that is something they may be a bit rigid when it comes to that um some of you this person can be older than you we also have moon sixth house so this is someone who will be quite almost self-sacrificing for you and your you know your family if you have a family together um this is also someone who will they'll feel a sense of duty or obligation towards you but not in a bad way yeah very organized a bit of a perfectionist <laughs> so they may think like things in a particular order what is that obsessive compulsive disorder sort of like that but maybe not to that extent this is a bit of a clean freak um in, in appearance but they also like their surroundings to be very proper you both will have a lot of great conversation perhaps sharing a similar sense of humor this person may have more of a i'm getting a dry sense of humor maybe a bit sarcastic as well but yeah there'll be a great friendship uh between the both of you um this talks about being in constant communication also having a large group of friends perhaps mixing your friend group together um and your siblings are coming through perhaps they will get along with your siblings or vice versa there's a connection there as well yeah but a bit of a hidden element to your relationship initially I'm getting more so hiding it from family and friends only the both of you really know what's going on even after like when you uh, acknowledge your relationship I see you being a very private couple um let's get more characteristics Capricorn and see what's happening here This is likely someone who's quite healthy. They're very particular about their diet and their health. Someone who works out. Likely to be quite, I'm getting tall, slender for most of you. We have a loyal, oh yeah, with all this Capricorn Virgo and Moon in Virgo. Extremely loyal, dedicated to you, for sure religious mm, could be leaning more towards religious than spiritual because with that king of swords perhaps you know they're quite traditional so most likely yeah whatever religion they were brought up in they follow that right we have friends first but i don't know I'm not taking it Should we take these? Okay, dominating. Um, yeah, they have Capricorn, the boss here. Speaks more than one language. Yeah, this is some sort of authority figure or quite leadership, leader-like qualities. So yeah, dominating makes sense. Could be, I'm not getting strong foreigner element, but it could just be that they speak more than one language. adaptable okay yeah that's more of that mercury influence saturn can be more rigid right but yeah they know 
they can compromise when they need to appreciative so yeah this is not someone who'll take you for granted punctual makes sense hypnotic yeah there's some sort of magnetism to them people naturally feel drawn towards them um punctual makes sense right with capricorn <laughs> similar energy to you and virgo they're a bit of a perfectionist this is not someone who will make you wait they're very um they have their stuff together people were seeing them as the nine of pentacles so yeah they have their stuff together if they say they're going to do something they will let's get one more capricorn okay so they're likely to have an earth moon uh capricorn taurus virgo uh we have sensual night owl passionate yeah <laughs> they'll keep you up at night that's what that's saying i don't know why oh yeah we had that highlighted here too sexual chemistry likely to be actually i can't tell it could be because we have virgo and capricorn strong and earth moon it can be a capricorn moon or a virgo moon but regardless that's that's amazing right because if they have say uh a capricorn moon that would that could be conjunct your um sun so that naturally makes for a you know good partnership where you understand one another a very supportive partnership but even if it's virgo then it's, it'd be sun trine virgo depending on where the degrees fall as well right it's a bit complicated but i think it's it will be overall compatible because the way you express yourself is will feel comfortable to this person because that's where their moon is right um, so this person will drive a lot of comfort from your presence, the way you express yourself, your ego, everything about you, just your very essence. And I think you will find that this person is perhaps understands you more easily than other people. There's a few misunderstandings here because you're quite similar um, in your approach to life in general. Yeah, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. It's a beautiful reading. Um, hopefully this was helpful to you. Do like and comment um, if you enjoyed the reading. Otherwise, take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.